Hey dear beautiful people, how are you doing? Are you doing great? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always and I'm glad you clicked this video. In this video, we are going to see how to install Ruby on Rails on Ubuntu Linux. I'm going to, to break down all the steps into easy steps so as to never meet with errors. First of all, we will need to install the Ruby in itself. And the second step will be to install the SQLite 3 and SQLite browser. And the third step will be uh, about installing the yarn. And the fourth one will be installing the game package manager. And the fifth will be about installing Node.js and npm. The sixth step will be about installing the npm. And the last step will be to install the Rails on itself. We will have to install all the dependencies before we install Rails so as to never meet with errors. So enough of talking, let's go straight to the point. First of all, we need to open a terminal like this one and you, you need to have the working internet connection. Uh, so before I proceed, let me update my Ubuntu Linux a little quick. Alright, after this is done, you can go ahead and clear our terminal by pressing Ctrl R and we are going to perform the further installation. Uh, uh, I'm going to install Ruby in itself, so to install it, I will write sudo apt uh, install lobby uh, slash, uh, uh, I mean dash, this is a dash not slash for like this one, enter and press Y for accepting this one, press enter. Alright, cool. After now it is successful, we can go ahead and check if it is now successfully installed by pressing lobby uh, dash or hyphen, excuse me. I, 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 or I sometimes confuse this hyphen with dash and the slash. I'm not a native English speaker, so you will excuse me. Go ahead and put V and press enter. You can see now we are have, having this Ruby tool, and now we are successful uh, installing this Ruby. Let's go ahead and install the SQLite. Go ahead and type sudo ap to install SQLite 3 and press enter. All right, wonderful. So we can go ahead and install the SQLite browser too. We, we have to bring up this and we can um, add browser on here like this one. Go ahead and press enter. This will be used when you want to access your database and the graphical user interface so as to uh, to chop her up and see uh, what you can do on your database. Bingo. Okay, go ahead and create our terminal again. We are going to install yarn by itself. Go ahead and type sudo apt install yarn like this. Enter. Alright, and a quick notice here you can see that it was suggesting me to use a DCMD test instead of yarn. But as long as it has been successful, there's no problem about it. But when you, you meet with an error, go ahead and use that command instead of writing yarn. Go ahead and write cmd test. We can test if our yarn is now uh, installed by typing a yarn a hyphen hyphen version like this. There you go. You can see now this is this was successful. Go ahead and install the Node.js and npm to install. Uh, we will start by installing the Node.js by itself. Go ahead and type sudo apt, um, apt install uh, Node.js like this. Go ahead and press enter. Yes. All right. You can go ahead and check if it was successful by typing Node hyphen v. Alright, you can see this is the version 12 that is currently installed in our, on our system. Go ahead and install the npm too. Go ahead and type sudo apt or apt install uh, npm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create the terminal again. Uh, let's check for the game version. Okay, we, we pre-installed that one. So and finally we are going to install the Rails on itself. To install Rails we will use uh, this game 
or the jam it will depend on how you spell it we will try we will type sudo uh, jam install uh, rails right this one and go ahead and press enter all right cool and you can see now our 37 games or gems have been successfully installed we can go ahead and create a terminal check if our rails is working and we check the version layers like this and v it will tell me um, that I'm, I'm learning these rails 6.1.4.1 which is the current one for the time of making this video right that is basically how you can install uh, our lobby on Rails environment on windows 10 those were all the steps let me know in the comments if you met with any issue or a problem i will be right there to help you to get this done thanks for watching i hope you liked this video and if you did go ahead and press like and if you are coming on this channel for the first time go and subscribe to free and you will not miss the further videos that i will make on ruby on rails thanks 